Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Variant. So I've done a couple of videos in the past such as how to make the Elementor tab scroll horizontally with the use of code and I've also done a video on how to achieve the same thing without the need of any code or additional plugin. And also, I've also done a video on how to make use of the Elementor menu widget to scroll horizontally on mobile devices with the use of some few lines of CSS code. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that also without the need of an additional plugin or any line of CSS code. Without further ado, let's dive in and get started. So on our dashboard, we head on to uh, Elementor settings. Now, make mind you, this feature is only available from the latest version of Elementor, which is from Elementor version 3.17 which was released um, some days ago. So make sure you have updated your Elementor Pro to version uh, 3.17 and above. Okay, so now you head on to your features. Now in your future, make sure you come down to where you have menu, this option here. It is also, it's, it's always set at default to make sure you set it to active. And once you've done that, you come down here and then you click on save. Now, as this loads up for you, you now head back to your editing screen. Now, you, we're going to refresh this editing screen so that what the settings we, we activated here will take effect. All right. So now, the next thing we're going to do is right here on the widget bar, we're just going to search for menu. Now, we can see there is the WordPress menu and then there is the menu. So, we're not going to use this WordPress menu. We're going to use this menu because this menu is the one that has the future we need. So, we're just going to drag and drop it here. Now, you see its arrangement is quite different from the conventional WordPress menu we, 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 we already we are used to. So, what we're going to do is each of these items here, menu item here, contains a, a link option just like how you can do for the previous version of uh, previous type of uh, WordPress menu you just need to add your link here you can even set it set a dynamic tag here as well and then you can also toggle this on to use the dynamic content which enables you to create a uh, create a mega menu but we're not focusing on that I've already done a video on how to create a mega menu using this uh, widget you can check on our on the description of this video there's a link there on how to do that so now once we've Come here now. The next thing we're going to do is in order for us to make this horizontal screw display on our devices, on all devices, if you want, or on mobile device or on tablet device, as the case may be, we need to like duplicate them and then make them up to like 10 or more. So I'm just going to duplicate, 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 and duplicate. So we're going to have something like about 10 of them, or, or so. So I'm just going to rename them from item 3, I'm going to set it to item 4 item 5 so we know the difference when we're scrolling horizontally item 6 item 7 and so on item 8 then we'll have the item 9 and finally we're going to have item 10 all right so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is let's just head to the styling and just give it a little bit of tweaking so here on the normal we're just going to set the background color we're going to set the background color to let's say red something like this and then we're going to set the text color to white so we're going to have something like this and then we're going to set the hover we're going to set the hover for the hover we're just going to set the background type here to white and then the text color we're going to set the text color to red so we're going to have something like this something that looks like this this looks beautiful and we can do the same for the active just set the active to uh, background color white and then text color red sorry text color red i'm going to set the text color to red so we'll have so now we can see this is what we have. This looks wonderful. Okay, so now that we've done this, the next thing we're just going to do is we're going to go back to the content area. Now for the content area, we're just going to toggle this down and then we'll come down to the additional settings. Now under the additional settings, we're going to see the horizontal scroll option here. Now, mind you, this is set on the de desktop. So you can change it to mobile, to tablet and to mobile. And then before you do that, come down to the breakpoint and then you set the breakpoint to none. Now, as, as we set the breakpoint to none, if we should go to 
a tablet you can see there is no breakpoint and if we should go to mobile there is no breakpoint but this is not what we want so we'll now go back here and then we'll now set it here uh, to enable horizontal scroll and then when we come here you're going to see it's going to take effect here as well and then if you go to the mobile it's going to take effect as well so at the end of the day this is what we're going to get so now if we should publish this and then we click on this preview changes and this is what we're going to get so now if we should click go to uh, right click and then head on to the inspect tool and then we set it to mobile as you can see this is what we get this is the mobile you can see you can see so this is pretty much how easy it is now to make uh, the elemental menu widget to scroll horizontally on mobile device, tablet, and even PC as the case may be. The situation whereby you want to add icons to all the items here so you can stick it at the bottom and then replicate the sample I did in the previous video where I used some simple CSS codes to achieve. If you want to do that here, you can also do that easily, no hassle, and then stick it at the bottom and create a mobile app like uh, footer menu. So to do so, we can just come here and then edit the first item and then we we'll add an icon under this icon here. You just select icon library and then you can just search for whatever icon you want. Let's say the home icon for the first, add the home icon at the top, and then you come down here uh, to item two, you do the same select an icon here uh, I think you can just select uh, this and select that uh, okay I'm going to pause this video and then add icons to the individual items and then I'll come back so this video doesn't get longer than expected so I've added all the icons to all the menu all the 10 menus we have here so when you go to the style option it's going to bring a new option for you called the icon option where you can set the the position of the icon you can change it set it how you want but i think above is looks pretty much better and then you can also increase the size of the icon increase the size reduce the size or as the case may be you can even set the icon spacing from the item you see as you can see this gives you flexibility this gives you the ability to edit it as much as you want so we're just going to leave out at default uh, settings the default items here is just going to be on default so because it looks better on default and then you can also set the hover the normal and then colors for the hover the normal and the active for the icons only as well you can do that as well so now when you publish this and then you want to make it sticky if you want to make this sticky you can just simply do that by either go editing this go to the advanced settings and then you come down yeah under the advanced settings you come down to uh the position you can set the position to fixed set the position to fixed and then you set it to vertical orientation you set it to the bottom and then you have something like this it's as simple as this and then when we publish this and then we preview it we're gonna have something like this inspect it and then we're going to have something like this on mobile device. We're going to have something like this on mobile device, as you can see. So that's pretty much it about how you can tweak this and get what you want. And if we should also take this to uh, our simulator, this is what we're going to have on our simulator, as you can see. This is what we're going to have on our simulator. This looks wonderful. You can change the device to whatever device you want. Uh, iPhone 13 mini. You can also see allow for it to load and you still get the same thing. So, All right, that's it on this tutorial. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you find this tutorial really helpful to you, you can do us a favor by liking, drop your comment as to where you're confused or you need direction or help, and I'll be there to help you. And if you're new to our channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.